Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a tutorial today. It's on this eye look right here. It's an orangey red type look. Um, and I'm also going to be showing you what blush I used and what lip products I used. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Okay guys, let's get started. So first we're going to take Rubenesque Paint Pot. It's just a golden orange color. And we're going to put that all over our lid. And a little bit up towards your brow bone. I have a mirror over here if you're wondering what I'm looking at. So next we're going to take the color Straw Harvest. It's part of the Spring Forecast Color 2 collection, which isn't out anymore. So you can use any peachy orange color that you can find. And you're just going to take this and put it all over your lid. Just like that. Next you're going to take a pinky color. The one I'm using is Perky. It's also from the same collection. It just looks like this. And you're going to take a crease brush or just a fluffy brush, and mine is the Sigma SS224. You're going to put some color on and then put it right in your crease. Next, you're going to take your outer corner color, and the one I'm using is Hot 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 from the exact same collection. This is a ready orange, so you can use the color Red Brick if you can't find this color anywhere. And you're just going to take it a little bit up following your bottom lash line. If you go like this, it kind of like goes straight up, and you're just going to bring that into your crease. You don't want to take too much or it can look really, really funny. <laughs> uh, if you're going out to a club or a dance or something, you can definitely take a bit more than what I'm using. But I wear this look to school and I don't want it to be too dramatic, so I just wear a little bit. Just like that. Next I'm going to take my highlight color. This one is Nano Gold from the same collection. And I'm just going to take any brush and I'm just going to put it right under my eyebrow for a highlight and then also in the inner corner of my eye. Okay, so then I'm going to take, lost it, my white eyeliner. This one is just from the drugstore, but you can use any eyeliner you want. And I'm going to put it on my waterline. I need the mirror for this one. <laughs> and also up in the outer corner. And then I'm going to take some mascara. This is the Lash Blast Length Mascara from CoverGirl, and I'm just going to put that all over my eyelashes. You can put it on the bottom lashes if you want, but I'm not going to. Next, we're going to do our blush. So, under almost every blush that I do or use, um, I use Cheeky Bronze Mineralized Skin Finish. And I take it with a big fluffy powder brush, just a little bit, and then I put it on my cheeks where I'd be putting my blush. It kind of gives it a glow, and since mineralized skin finishes have sparkle in them, 
it just gives it that sparkle. But not too much because you are putting blush over top. So next I'm going to use Spring Sheen Blush Ombre, or Spring Shine, sorry. And I'm going to swirl it, but I'm mainly going to focus on the light color. Or else it gets a bit too dark. And I'm going to put it right on my cheeks. You want to go right in the middle of your eye and back. You don't want to go in front of that imaginary line because it gets too close to your face and it kind of looks like a bronzer accident that happens. If you do it from the middle of your eye and back, it kind of just gives it a really nice natural glow. Just like that. So on my lips, I have the Prep and Prime Lip Primer. Myth Lipstick. And the lip gloss from the Spring Forecast Collection number two, again, in Ember Glow. It's just a really light peachy color. So that's it for my tutorial. If you guys have any requests for tutorials, please let me know. Thanks for watching.